Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA. Hi, this is Cooking APA. Today I'm going to make uh, asam pedas. Okay, the Malay uh, Malaysian style. The uh, so I actually happened to buy uh, stingray the other day. Looks really fresh, and uh, I I worry it may not be enough, so I actually added one more uh, trap fin fish uh, cutlet here. Okay, stingray is um, according to my father who used to be a fisherman when she was very very young, many many years maybe 50, 60 years ago. He actually told me stingray at those days nobody want to eat. Uh, it is a fish that um, too cheap, yeah, and uh, they don't eat. But today, it is it becomes quite an expensive fish. Uh, this fish is not uh, cheap anymore, and uh, people loves it. Uh, in Malaysia, we uh, we use it for ikan bakar, yeah, we ikan bakar and uh, asam pedas. Uh, very nice, and it actually the meat texture actually tastes like chicken, almost tastes like chicken, and it's flaky, very flaky, and uh, very sweet also. In Korea, they actually use this fish to uh, ferment, uh, do some go through some fermentation process, and it becomes another very famous dish. And uh, eat it together with barbecue pork, and that is extremely, extremely smelly. <laughs> okay, so anyway, this is not smelly because yes, it is fresh. It is it doesn't go through any um, fermentation process. So okay, and what we have here is besides the fish. Uh, let's look at the ingredient. Of course, um, the most important ingredient here will be the asam. All right, this is the asam uh, asam paste. I have at least minimum two to three tablespoon. Uh, actually, the more sourish, the better. Hmm. Up to you, yeah. But this is minimum two to three tablespoon, and then uh, about uh, about one cup of uh, chili. Uh, usually, outside you will see this dish extremely reddish. So if you prefer it to be more reddish in color you can add more uh, this is actually dried chili but soak until it is softened um, then blend it yeah okay so you can actually use more this is only like half a bowl you can have one full bowl so that you uh, the, the reddish color will be even darker and um, up to you yeah so dried chili yeah you sometimes if you don't understand the difference between dried chili and fresh chili is that dried chili yeah, the color the fragrance will be stronger yeah and this is one important ingredient called uh, uh, Vietnamese coriander or we call it down kasum so this will give you some uh, very nice uh, uh, citrusy flavor to your dish actually to be very frank uh, I have one thing missing here today because I couldn't find I couldn't buy it uh, it's called torch ginger flower or gin, sorry ginger torch flower ginger torch flower that also will give this dish a very nice fragrance and it's actually a very important dish but I don't have it uh, but as a replacement today I'm going to put in down pulut uh, lime leaves okay lime leaves so I'm going to break it a little bit to let the smells come out okay this is going to help a little bit uh, and then about one tablespoon of chopped galangal or blue ginger one tablespoon of chopped uh, normal ginger one tablespoon of chopped garlic one tablespoon of chopped shallot uh, if you don't want to chop all this just use blender to blend everything up all right and uh, one tape this is about one tablespoon of um, uh, blachan powder so uh, you all probably know I always uh, make my my own blachan powder i mean not as in making the or the, the powder uh, the the blachan but i actually when you buy the blachan block from the shop uh, i will actually dry roast it dry roast meaning you pan fry without oil dry roast it until it becomes powder form right and uh, i will then put it inside a glass container like this and keep it in the fridge you can keep for a few months easily okay so this will make this will give the umami flavor to your dish. And I don't have uh, kacang bendi today. I don't have lady's finger or okra. I'm, instead, I'm putting in three green, green chili. Yes, this will be my veggie today. <laughs> uh, this is definitely optional, right? You can also, oh, actually, I forgot about my tomato. Let me try and find <laughs> one tomato later. All right. Okay, 
give about four tablespoon of oil here you want to be generous with the oil because uh, you have a lot of spices today so we need to saute all the uh, spices like uh, chili paste this is a dried chili okay and uh, galangal blue ginger normal old ginger garlic shallot okay this few items first you want to saute this for a couple of minutes to really uh, let the uh, chili oil to start releasing uh, actually I think I need a little bit more oil oh very choking <coughs> I'm sorry excuse me okay I'm going to slowly saute this for a couple of minutes we'll come back shortly Alrighty, it's after about 3-4 uh, minutes sorting. By the way, there's one ingredient I did not put here. Is uh, To me, it's optional. It's uh, turmeric. If you have, you can put it in. If not, it's alright. Sometimes I put it in, sometimes I don't. But it will definitely help to give the colour and also uh, flavour. So, uh, I'm adding the uh, blachan powder. Immediately, the fragrance will enhance. Blacha is a very unique thing. It's a fermented shrimp paste. Yeah, fermented shrimp paste. Actually, any fermentation um, ingredients or seasoning or condiment, uh, they all has very uh, unique uh, role in enhancing the flavor by uh, ed by actually creating an umami taste or flavor or aroma of for that particular dish. Now it's super fragrant. I hope you can smell this. Okay. Next thing I'm going to add in some hot water. This will be the broth. Why do I use hot water? Because we try not to reduce the heat of your wok, alright? I'm going to add half of the tomato. I found my tomato. Half of the tomato here and the other half towards the end. My ikan pari marinated with a little bit of salt. And this is my uh, trap fin fish, ikan nangin. We can actually add in the asam. Usually when you buy the asam paste inside, there will be some uh, busy busy yeah, the seeds. So you can actually put in a little bit of hot water and de-seed it, try to remove all the seeds. Yeah? I asked, I requested my helper to, re to, to remove the seeds just now. Not sure if she did. I think she did. Yeah. Alright. Nice, beautiful color. I'm putting in my veggie today, <laughs> green chili, <laughs> and also uh, half of the daun kesong, Vietnamese coriander. I'm going to put the rest, uh, the other half towards the end. You can put a lot of Vietnamese coriander, it really smells very good. It's really nice. I'm going to tune down the fire a little bit to medium high heat. Yeah, cover this with a lid and uh, let it cool for about let me see at least five to six minutes minimum. Then we will come back. Okay, this is after uh, 
cooking under medium low heat for the past uh, about six seven minutes it should be cooked Wow, look at the beautiful chili oil color. Ooh, nice, really nice. Okay, we still have some left ingredient. This is the lime leaf. Okay, you want to break the lime leaf a little bit, tear the tear the part, and then the remaining of uh, uh, down kasom, Vietnamese coriander, and not forgetting my uh, tomato this dish should be very very sour because as the name suggests asam pedas asam meaning sourish pedas meaning spicy and uh, to be very frank all the the dry chili all here is not spicy at all but the asam yeah we want to get the sourish paste so we just need to do some final seasoning with a little bit of salt and sugar Okay, this is salt. And also some sugar. Okay, it's basically done. Let me just uh, get another spoon to taste it. Oh, very nice. Sourish, savory. Oh, actually today quite spicy. Hmm, to my surprise, quite spicy. Uh, don't mind adding a little bit of uh, light soya sauce. Okay, done. Let me dish it out for you. I'm going to off it. Okay, so here's Appa's uh, Asam Pedas Ikan Pari. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Kappa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.